Six. Second half highlights, Hunter Goodrick, another nice eye, had 15 in the first meeting against South Dakota State, comes back, has 13 tonight. Very active on the glass. Really nice job here of drawing the double team and then making himself available. Very fortunate there, he didn't need the dribble. Doesn't matter, he was able to convert at the rim. Charlie Easley, SDSU didn't hit a three in the first half, Sean. They were 0 of three, comes out. Charlie Easley, back-to-back trips with a triple to start the nice, second half. And that, what that did is that gave then USD something else to think about on the defensive end of the floor. And then you could see the spacing by the Jackrabbits continued to pay dividends and Wilson, the conference's leading field goal percentage of 54%. He got off to a tremendous start and showing his athleticism in the front court. Yeah, he was the man all night, no question about it. Doug Wilson finishing with a season high 25 points on 10 of 15 shooting. He was also 5 of 5 at the free throw line. Jack's really hurt the Coyotes at the stripe tonight. They finished 25 of 30 as we take a look at our final stats brought to you by CU Mortgage direct the free throw stands out obviously the rebounding thing it evened out considerably it was seven yep. nothing on the offensive glass for south dakota at the half finishes nine four as did the points in the paint you could, you could see that stsu was really dominating that in the first half and they were able then to get a little bit more offensive versatility in the second half but i, I have to give sds or sdu or usd rather a ton of credit because this was a team in sdsu that could throw a lot of weapons at you and the Coyotes were able to withstand it more often than not here, but there's so much offensive firepower, and I like what the Jackrabbits were able to do defensively, especially in the second half. And I think if you look at this honestly and, and completely objectively, Sean, you, you look at this from Todd Lee's perspective, obviously he's not going to be happy. You, you took a loss in your home floor. You're never happy about that. At the same time, a lot about this effort yeah. is something you could build on over the last couple of weeks of the regular season. Especially if you're able to get some more minutes from Xavier Fuller. Xavier Fuller. Fuller, yes. I mean, that was really, really big because when he checked in, you're thinking, okay, maybe he gives them eight to ten minutes and maybe gets a steal or a rebound. But he came in, guns are blazing on the offensive end of the floor, and that's going to be important for the Coyotes as they head down the stretch of the regular season and then into the conference tournament in Sioux Falls. Yeah, Fuller played 18 minutes in the end of the night, had a 12 points on four of eight shooting. He was two of two from three. For the Coyotes, not enough tonight. They fall by a score of 89-79. And now starts another stretch of a lot of games in not very many days. They're at North Dakota State Monday. Then they'll take on Denver and Omaha on the road next week. That might have been the shot of the night, though, right there. That got her $10,000.